Okay, we're going to first look at uh, the song Banjo and the Hollow. Uh, holler, what do you want to call it that? Now, I've I, I composed this myself using a program called Power Tab Editor. And I put various different ways of playing it. So when you look at this, these two are the same exact uh, parts of the song. These two are the same exact parts of the song, but they're played differently. Here we notice the fifth string played open, tenth fret the ninth. This is a forward roll, but it comes back to a backward roll and a simple rock on here. Same way here. It's a forward roll, backward roll, rock on. The only difference is, okay, they've got one, ten, nine, ten. Now these are the same exact notes exactly, but here is what differs. Now when you play uh, the a finger on the five, fifth fret and make a bar, you're making the C chord on the banjo. So, in essence, you're playing the same exact chording here as you are here. This is your standard C, 0, 1, 2. When you look at the fingering of the banjo, that's the C chord as you would play up on the top of the neck. Okay. Then on the fifth fret, it's also the C chord. So, we may be playing at different, the different notes, but still with, fits within that chord. Okay. C here and a C here. There's also a backward roll and then a rock on again. Now, the next two is played on the 5th and 4th fret. Okay. Now, instead of playing 10th and 9th, we could play also on the G, in the G chord, 0, 5, 4. Okay. So, I'm playing here twice. So, this is the exact same thing here. Okay. 0, 5, 4 works. And then do a backward roll and rock on. Now, here, another thing is different is the D formation. You notice the same here. That's the same is here, the second fret, that makes that a D note. No, actually, go down. That's an A note. That's an A note there, an A note there. As you can see here, F A. Okay. But what makes this a difference here is this this two one formation is a D seven. Here we're going to do a simple two zero four uh, uh, what I call uh, basically a, a, a D walk, okay? Because we're going to hit this note here. And that's a uh, G note there. And this is down here is an F, F sharp note. This is an F sharp note right here. Okay. But here we're going to simulate this as a D7 because we're playing that C note right here. Uh, the seventh of any chord is actually, you go, is like, for example, when you're in D, so we got uh, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So C is my seventh note from D. So I want to show my seventh note there or my C note. Here I'm playing a, an A, a B, a, uh, this is an F sharp. So this is my D chord formation here. It still fits within the chord. Now if we look here in the next one, this is my simple C, no, uh, C chord formation, 0, 1, 2, or 5, 5, 5. Either one works great. Then we got the backward roll rock on. 0, 1, 2, 5, 5, 5. And you notice these two are the same. Okay? So we do the same thing here, 0, 1, 2, or 5, 5, 5. Now, by knowing where your chords are located on the banjo, you can play it down on here or up here. It depends on where you want to play it at. So understanding the music, understanding what key you're in, and the key of G for, for timing, we understand the chords G, C, G, C, G, D, G, D. Okay? Hope that helps.